guys welcome back to the african kitchen this is 2023 and happy new year guys so today i am going to prepare something very delicious we are going to have two versions of preparing omena which is daga as you can see i have it already here and remember we are preparing this in a modern way while the other side they are preparing it in a traditional way so guys let's get to work so first things first, I am going to show you my ingredients for the day. One, we have our omena here and uh, I'm going to use ordinary onions bulb and then um, I have my tomatoes. I'll also be doing milk, badai and then yes, this is good and some cooking oil of course. So first things first, we are going to select our omena to make sure we remove things like this and this. So what I want to record in the chafu, this omena is very dirty. So it really needs uh, someone who is very keen to ensure that all the, the, the dirt, the stones, the snails have been removed. <clears throat> I visited a friend of mine, uh, was it last year, 2022? And... Uh, they tell me they do not eat omena, omena with heads. It's like they remove these heads from the omena. <laughs> that is kind of funny. At the omena hai fungi macho. So this is going to be a, a bit fast for me because we, I am doing this omena depending on the number of people that are going to eat it. We have around four people. So this omena is kidogo. And it's enough for the four. Yes. So I am done with uh, sorting out my omena, omena from the chaff. And now, kuna watu wa fanyingi kazi hapa. Yes, so I'm going to, to portion this omena according to how people work in this house. So this, is for the camera person one and it's Eric and then this is for Devi and then I was told someone is lazy so this is for Mambu <laughs> and the rest for the cook so that's what we are going to do after I've selected my after I've selected my omena from the chaff I always boil the omena inside some hot water and some salt so that's what I'm going to do because mm. my omena is ready I'm going to boil it for around 10 minutes and uh, if you have lemons you can put some lemons at this stage so that maybe there are those people who don't like the the, the omena smell in Kibukusu we call it leho Yeah, that's it and then some salt kidogo if you have ginger this is the point where you add some ginger mm. so yes that's it so I'm going to cover my omena so that it can cook for like 10 minutes make sure it's properly cooked and uh, the 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 dirt has come out as well so as my omena is boiling i'm going to prepare my onions uh, yeah so poor 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 it's not sharp enough someone told me the traditional way they don't wash onions but more than we wash onions very very important for those people who have done catering or those people who have done uh, home science in school, I'm sure they can relate. A very important step. Wash, wash your onions, wash your tomatoes. And then someone might be wondering why I'm using a lot of onions. I love onions in my uh, omena because they bring out some, some flavor. Yeah. 
here now ready for cutting and i am good to start off the the chopping and the cutting and the whatsoever and then we don't mix these ingredients these are spices together you know we shall go you can mix them up because anyway Boracha kula, but here we do it differently. Onions kiviake, tomatoes kiviake, if you have some dania, some hoho, and so on. And then we are very keen with how we chop them. We don't just chop them anyhow, Lee. Because sometimes we are looking at the texture that it's going to to give the, the whatever we are, we are cooking. I'm not so perfect at this. Anyway, I'm trying. Yes, my omena now is ready for the frying. Kando kidogo. Yes. So I, I want to spread this omena evenly so that it can take the shortest time possible to fry. I don't know in the African kitchen. I don't know how they do it in the traditional kitchen. Nikama they fry their omena in the msheleha. I don't know. I I really can't wait to taste that that omena. Meanwhile, let's do our best and prepare ours. And then you don't you don't want to break your omena to be like porridge so you're going to be very keen with how you you stir your omena and mix up yes so let's give it some time you don't you don't stir it immediately you give it some three four minutes so that it can dry up and then you'll turn yes at this point i think we are ready now to put some onions and some more salt mm. Mm. I don't want to be so mean, so I am going to ask the people around me if they love uh, sorted onions in omena or they love very, very fried onions in omena. So I'm going to cook according to their preference. But either way can do. So let me start with Devi Oguta. No. Do you love your omena with onions that have not cooked so well? Yeah. Or you love the onions to cook finely? And taste all the stages. All the stages. No, I'm not like the finished product. Ukikula omena, unataka uskia omena, tuwa munataka uskia ka omena, ka kitungu, na kanyanya. Everything. What about you, Mwambu? I don't taste omena. What about you? Everything. You want to taste everything? everything. Yeah. So wengi wape. <laughs> so I am not going to cook the onions uh, so much. It's called saute. So at this point, the onions are saute. Yes. So I'll add the tomatoes.
Now we're going to cover it for some 10 minutes so that the tomatoes can cook well and yes, we will be done. So, our omena is ready. At this point, if you have ho-hos and danias, mm -hmm, this is the point. So that you feel the crunchiness, the bouginess. You get, eh? if we would have a blender, we would have blended the tomatoes. But sorry guys. Yeah. So you'll notice, let me just bring a, a, a fork or another spoon. You'll notice with this means of cooking, you get your omena when they are whole. Mm? Whole, crunchy, with some taste of onion, some taste of, of tomato, some taste of salt, some taste of whoo, happiness. <laughs> this is ready. Because we do not have any children around, children are not going to eat this. We'll do that without soup, so fried omena. Yeah. I don't know how they do it in the traditional way, so let's just switch to the other side and see how they're doing their omena. Hapa ni African kitchen. Kupika kwetu sisi huwa tunawasha kuni, tunachemusha maji. Tunaanda kama tunataka kuanda kitoweo kama omena. Na kitoweo hiko hatupiki jeans tunavyo pika kisasa. Sisi tunapika kwa sifria nyeusi kama hiyo. Tunachemusha maji. Tunaweka kando. Tunaosha nayo. Na tumeweka ile nini ya kienyeji inaitwa munyu. Tumeweka ndani ya sifuria. Tunapoweka ndani ya sifuria tunaweka kwa meko inachemuka inapochemuka na tumeosha hiyo omena yetu tunaweka ndani tunaongeza chumvi kidogo tunafunika tunapofunika na tunawacha inaifa kwa dakika kama kumi hivi tukimaliza tunaotafuta maziwa tunaongeza ndani hatuweki mafuta hatuweki kitungu wala nyanya kienyeji Kwa kuchukua iyo omena ili nikaweze kutengeneza, tunatumia uteu. Tunachota ili tukaweze kutengeneza iwe safi. Tunawokota ndani uchafu kutoka kwa uteu. Na tunatupa alafu iyo uteu ndia inaweka ikitenga ikiwa sa, safi. Tunapo tengeneza hivyo tayari tumetengeneza sufuria ya kuweka kwa meko. Na ni meko ya kienyeji. Sio meko ya sasa, gas ama Maka. Tukimaliza hivyo, tumeandaa munyu ile matawi imechomo kwa maharagwe. Tunaitengeneza kama jifu na tunaweka ndani ya mkebe kama huo. Alafu unatoa munyu iyo ndi inatoka ndani inapika iyo omena ya kitambo. Ikisha wekwa we hivyo, tunamwaga ndani ya sufuria. Badae, nitaosha hizi omena. Nikisha osha, nitaosha, nikiweka hapa ndani, nikitoa na naweka kule ndani. Nikimaliza hivo, na ninachukua chumvi kidogo, ninaongeza ndani. Iyo chumvi, nikisha ongeza ndani, 
ninatumia hii kufunika uchafu isiingie ndani lakini kitambo tulikuwa tunatumia matawi ya ndizi ambayo imefungwa kivundo na mna hivi na tunaweka ninapoweka hivyo tayari ninawasha moto wangu basi ikisha waka hivyo tayari ni kuweka mboga zangu kwa meko Hayo maji ya chemuke, ya kisha chemuka, ninaanza kuosha hizo omena, moja kwa moja. Nikisha osha hivi Naosha na maji ya pili ili uchafu ishe ndani Basi ni tayari kuweka mboga kwenye meko Tayari kuweka mboga zangu kwa meko sasa ianze kuiva. Na iongezea maji kidogo ili iive tu kwa dakika 15 itakuwa iko tayari. Dakika 15 sasa zimeisha ni tayari kuongeza maziwa na kitoweo kiwe tayari. Itakapo chemuka kidogo ni dakika moja tu na ninaondoa ninaandaa sasa kitoweo kitakacho chutumika kwa ajili ya chakula cha kale. This is what we call the modern kitchen. Sasa, let's meet at the table. We were going to sample modern food and African food. Mm. Leo ni leo. African kitchen ika hapa. Tunataka tukule African kitchen pamoja na modern kitchen tuone ni gani ndio itakuwa nzuri. It has been a great day and a great experience getting to learn how to cook traditional foods from Mama Nasambu over here. Uh, it's been amazing and as you can see we've had our food already tumekula tumeshiba na I'll leave it up to you for you to judge just try this recipe follow up how I prepared the modern omena follow up how mama nasambu prepared the the traditional omena and then you can try it at home by yourself and then you'll get to see which one works out best for you otherwise it's been a great day mama nasambu asante Asante kwa kutufunza kupika na umetupikia tumekula tunasema tunashukuru and uh, 
what else do we say it's been an amazing day so guys we will meet on the next episode where we'll be trying maybe to do something different and please do not forget to leave your comment down there what do you think of this omena the modern omena what do you think of the traditional omena and how we cooked how we presented ourselves and so on and don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms that is culture hub tv on twitter on youtube on instagram and also on facebook